It's Sarah. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Thank you for tuning in to today's video. Today I have three Dollar Tree DIYs that I wanted to share with you guys. I would consider this kind of like shabby chic, maybe a little bit farmhouse, but it's totally just an idea that you can take and make it work for your own home decor. I love finding $1 items, sprucing them up, and then making them work in mine. So I hope that you guys enjoy. This idea for the crate was 100% inspired by a picture that I saw on Instagram. This was not my idea, so I will have the original person, their picture linked in the description box. Please go, give them some love, follow their page. Any information I have on them, I will put in the description box, but I just wanted to let you guys know that this was not my idea. We're not about that stealing ideas life over here. I will give all credit where it's due. I was totally inspired by her picture that I saw, and I wanted to create it on my own. So if you guys like Dollar Tree as much as I like Dollar Tree, definitely subscribe to the channel because we are all about that Dollar Tree life. Without further ado, you guys, let's get started on DIY number one. For the first DIY, I'm going to share with you how to make this $3 crate. You don't need any tools. You can be a total beginner like I am. The first thing that you're going to need is two of these coasters. They have all different colors and patterns at the Dollar Tree. So I could not find these wooden rulers at the Dollar Tree, so I just went to Lowe's and got one of these super long rulers. It's only 98 cents, so it's much cheaper, and then a hand saw that you can find at Dollar Tree. So I'm going to measure mine out. It's like 11 and a half, close to 12 inches, and I'm just going to use that little hand saw and saw it so this was not the best thing the quality of this saw is not that good but it does the job I used to use a butter knife so we're, we're coming up in the world so we're just gonna do that for four pieces Then once all four pieces of your wood are cut, you're going to want to use some of the Dollar Tree sandpaper just to lightly sand the front so that it removes any of the numbers, any of the little divots, and it makes it more flat and easy to paint. Also make sure you do the sides just so that they're nice and straight so that when you go to glue it, it makes it a lot easier. So I'm just going to be using regular acrylic paint because that's what I had, but chalk paint or milk paint would work, whatever you have on hand. So I'm just going to be using the acrylic paint at first and then I went in with some of the Dollar Tree shoe polish just to like make it look a little bit more messy and farmhouse, that style that I like. But please do whatever works for you, honey. You know, this is an idea. Run with it. Make it your own. Make it your own style. Make it your own color scheme. The possibilities are definitely endless. I decided to use shoe polish instead of just the typical acrylic paint in black or gray because I wanted to have that old and weathered look. Shoe polish works really nicely to make it almost kind of look like chalk paint. It's more of like a matte look instead of looking shiny and bright. So I let them dry completely and once they're dry, it's time to assemble. This part was a little bit tricky, but I just used a mixture of super glue and hot glue just so that it would dry instantly but have that long-term hold and it held up really nicely. So I, this part was difficult because you had to finagle all the pieces together I would put one piece up and another piece would fall so once you get it where it needs to be just use your glue so that everything is nice and secure and once it was dry it stayed in place it held up really nicely I did forget to mention that I measured the wood by the jars that I was using I put all three and then I measured the length that it would be and I got these jars from one dollar zone they're pretty big mason jars so they fit nicely in there so just depending on the size of the jar that you want you are going to want to measure the wood accordingly I completed both sides and now we're going to give him a bottom. So you could do a wood bottom if you wanted to. I just decided to use cardboard because it's what I had. You could use the foam board from the Dollar Tree. I had this extra piece of cardboard that I got from a PR package. So we're just going to use that because it's black, but you can use the black foam board from Dollar Tree as well. I'm just cutting it to size and I'm going to use the same mixture of hot glue and super glue just so that it stays and it holds. Now you are not going to want to pick this up from the bottom because the jars are going to be pretty heavy, especially if you're putting water in there if you plan on giving this as a gift or you want to lift it up you are going to want to use a piece of wood at the bottom just so that it's more secure but if you're just doing it like i am and putting it down and not messing with it this cardboard or foam board works perfectly One, 
let it dry completely and then go ahead and add your jars back in and it's ready to use I first added in real flowers that I had and I thought that it looked beautiful but you can also add in fake flowers and I absolutely love the way that it turned out this is just an idea you guys you can take this and run with it and use it for so many different reasons I think that it looks so gorgeous it was only three dollars honey super inexpensive didn't take a lot of time and it's definitely one of those pieces that you can use in any home decor for the next DIY, I wanted to share with you guys how to make these really easy candle holders. It only costs $2 and it's super easy to do and it can fit into almost any home decor style. So you are going to need the flower pots that you can find at the Dollar Tree in the spring, the spring section. So two of the pots come in one package, so that is a good deal. So normally they come with a little saucer or a lid. The ones from Dollar Tree don't, so we're going to use what we already have. I had some of these extra mason jar lids just laying around. So we're going to upcycle those and use those as the top of our candle holder. So if you guys have something at home, that will definitely work. But if not, at the, they have the mason jars at the Dollar Tree. You can buy the mason jar and just use the lid. So using a mixture of super glue and hot glue like we like to do, you're going to use that on the bottom of the lid and we're going to place that on the bottom of the pot. So now the top of the pot is going to be the bottom and the bottom is going to be the top. This way it's more sturdy and it holds and it gives it a really, really pretty shape. So I'm going to let it dry completely before I go ahead and spray paint it but I'm going to be using some silver spray paint and the uh, the silver glitter Krylon spray paint that I used in my last Dollar Tree DIY video I love that spray paint it makes everything glittery and sparkly once it's completely dry you have two super easy candle holders that look really really beautiful if you guys are not using that glitter spray paint honey get on it it's amazing it makes anything look blingy and fun and i love the way that these turned out and it took like five minutes no time at all for the last diy i wanted to share with you guys how to make these dollar tree mini wreaths so i see a lot of these mini wreaths at marshall's home goods tj maxx they're small and they look perfect on like those little barn house windows or mirrors and i just love the way that they look started you're going to want to take two of the smaller size willow wreaths that you can find in the floral section at the dollar tree there is a larger one and then they have these smaller ones that will work perfectly so thank god this floral is back at dollar tree it was out last year and they're bringing it back and it's gorgeous so be on the lookout for this it looks really farmhouse and almost shabby chic as well because it has the really beautiful purples and pinks I'm also going to be using two of these galvanized hearts that I took off of the love sign from the Dollar Tree I just peeled it right off and these are totally my style so to get started, you're going to want to start placing the flowers on the left and the right side of the wreath. You want to make sure that it's balanced on each side. And I just decided to start cutting the flowers off of the bouquet. It makes it a lot easier to work like that. Um, and I'm not adding the hot glue until I know exactly where I want it to be. With this kind of wreath, you want it to be balanced. So you want to make sure that there's the same amount of flowers on one side as there is on another. So kind of just play with it. Make sure that it's even. If it doesn't look right, go back and adjust it. I am going to be using a little bit of twine right in the middle to hold all the flowers together because the hot glue just was not doing it for a while like some would fall off but in the end I did wrap some twine just right around the center to hold all of the flowers I just use some hot glue to add the heart to the center of the wreath this way it stays nicely you can reuse it if you want and it covers up any of that twine that they can see I feel like this gives a center to the wreath as well when you go to hang it so that it doesn't look I don't know it, there does need to be something in the center so that it can give it a center if you're not going to go all the way around but I absolutely love the way that it turned out I don't feel like this looks like it's something from the Dollar Tree and it kind of goes with that shabby chic romantic style that I see a lot of people doing so I hope that you guys enjoy let me know what you think in the comment section down below I hope that you try some of these out they're not hard at all five ten minutes just a little bit of your time and you can have some really beautiful home decor that you made yourselves subscribe before you go you guys I love you all from the bottom of my heart i will see you guys super soon girl get ready for the most amazing dollar tree haul in a long time like this one was probably one of my favorites that i've done in a while so stay tuned for that subscribe so you don't miss it give it a thumbs up follow me on social media instagram facebook i'm always over there i would love to see you guys there as well all right you guys i'm gonna go i love you i'll see you later bye